welcome to my channel. So today what I have for you guys is a little Hot Topic haul. But more importantly, the main thing of the haul is that I purchased this Japan crate. And we're gonna go ahead and try everything that's inside and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. And aside from the crate, my daughter wanted a little something, so we got these fruit mochis that I'm also going to be trying. But I'm really excited about this crate, so let's, oh, excuse me, let's dive right into it. So it says, limited edition Japan crate. It says this Japan crate contains 17 snacks and includes a collection of Japanese snacks and candy, a Japanese drink. A collectible item, a Japan Crate gift voucher, and an insert that links to translations and product descriptions. So you guys can take a closer look. Let's go ahead and open it. I already took out the tape. Ooh. Look at this, guys. I'm excited. I probably should have done this when I was hungry. It's fine. We're going to go with it. So, first things first. What is this? Gift voucher. Explore more of Japan. And it gives me a code. Head to japancrate.com to get $10 off a monthly subscription of 20 Okay. So, depending on how we like it, we'll give it a try. So, first item. Obviously, I can't read it because it's in Japanese, I'm guessing. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look that appetizing. That looks like little coffee beans. So I'm guessing it's maybe like some kind of espresso. Let's try it. Yeah, it's like a chocolate. Don't mind my dog in the background. It's like a chocolate coffee drink. Hmm. It's actually not bad. It's really good. But since I had it out, you know, the box out, it's not cold or anything like that. It would probably taste better chilled, but not bad. So I'll be putting this in the fridge. So I love how I can't read any of this. So we have this candy. You guys can look it up to find out what it is. Let's open it. Mmm, it's definitely grape. You can smell it. Mmm. I'm not into candy, guys. But if you like grape, if you like grape mochi, you'll love this. It does have a good flavor, I'm not going to lie. I'm just not a candy person. Oh god, I'm gonna have to try a lot of shit. Mm, a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's do something a little bit easier. Again, can't read it, don't know what it oh. Maybe if somebody can let me know in the comments what I'm about to eat. But to me, that looks like um like a clam, which I'm praying that it's not. The only part I could read is 60th anniversary. Okay. This is gum. It has to be because I can't swallow that. So it's probably gum. Anyways, moving on. Let's try. It smells like I just opened a can of tuna. Oh, Just no. No all around. If you want to eat some super salty fish tasting chip, then you can go get, oh my God. You saw the little bite I had. My whole mouth is, oh my God. I can't, I have to chew some of this gum. 
to get the taste on. This video is going to be fun. Guys, I'm just being real, raw, and I'm not cutting any of this stuff out, okay? Some of you be trying all this stuff. Mmm, so amazing. Ice cream, so good. Yeah, no, this is not that video. These, oh look, pure potato. That I can read. So, these don't look like they're that bad. So, let's go ahead and try these. That's too much. Also a negative. Full negative on the chips. Do not recommend them. Let's go to something that I don't have to eat. Okay. So look, this is like a, oh, it's a samurai pen. I'm guessing this is like a little free gift, which this I like, look at how cool. So I pretty much paid $50 for this box, for this cute pen. It's looking like, wow, but it's really nice. I like it. Look at it. This pen. Okay, let me stop. Okay, guys, but literally I would buy this box just for this pen. It's so heavy. It's really cute. I can probably sell the pen and get my money back for the whole box. Just saying. Okay, on to the next. So it came with four of these. Japan Kit Kat, so we're only gonna open one. Let's try it. Hopefully, it's not fish flavored Kit Kat. Oh, it's looking like a cookies and cream Kit Kat. Not bad. If you like, if you like white chocolate cookies and cream, then this is for you. I of course don't. But we'll save that for somebody. Guys, I'm not a candy person. I'm not a chip person. Now put me in like a sushi tasting and I'm sure I'll love everything. But candy's not really my thing. But we're going with it. So I got this. This cute little candy. Let's try. Let's pop one out. Oh my god. Finally, something that I like, you know those little candies like from back in the day that come like in a little, in like a little stick wrap and it's like the color that it looks just like this little balls, it tastes exactly like that. I can't think of the name right now, but those are really good. Mm, these look good. The next item is going to be these cherry candies. tell that I don't I like it <laughs> but I like it will I eat more of them probably not but they're not bad I would recommend these if you're into candy okay next it just says grape 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 with a grape outside let's see it has a cute little thing you pop it open And it looks like this. Little candy. Also good. It's just like a little grape. Hmm, like a little grape candy. It literally just melts in your mouth. I like it. Not bad. So the next item that we have. This is bubble gum, so I'm not going to open it. It's just grape bubble gum. Also comes in here. This I'm going to save for my daughter. Because you have to make it. It comes like this. 
but in the back it shows you you have to open it you have to put the powder mix it with water and it makes cotton candy supposedly so that comes in here too cute and then we have this let's see if i can read anything on it no again can't read anything on it but this is it let's open it and see what it looks like i think this is gum i think it's just like a gum box okay that's like a, a jawbreaker or something okay we're gonna leave that there so it comes with a jawbreaker and it comes with this cute little thing it's like this so i guess we gotta open it and see what's inside mm, it smells like bubble gum it's like a hard It tastes like bubble gum too. Not bad. We'll also save it for later. Okay, we are almost done, guys. We have this choco latte ball. It literally says choco latte ball. So it's self explanatory. We are not going to try that. And then it has these, which have a peach outside. Oh, these are like the high, um, high, high chews. Hi Chu, and it's peach flavor. These are actually good. I've tried them before. So these are like a gum candy type of thing. These are really good. So three things left. We have this, which I'm gonna save for my daughter. It's kind of like those other candies because I had them too, except this one is strawberry flavor. You guys hear her in the background? Hey guys, trying to make a video in this house is impossible, so bear with me. Oh god. Okay, this smells like a raisin. We're not. We're, no. <sighs> Last but not least, in the Japan crate is these mochi truffles let's open them because at least these come in a box and then we can close it after if we don't like it let's open it so it comes like this mochi truffles oh finally they close the room door it's crazy I don't know how to scissor around here. Comes like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, let's try it. I did try it, if you don't believe me. That's going to be a negative for me, too. Which is kind of good, because I'm sure all this stuff is fattening anyways. But, yeah. No. So, my personal rating... My personal rating on the Japan Crate is... A 5 out of 10... Because at least I got a samurai sword pen. Because other than that, this is probably something that my daughter can mess around with and try the little stuff. And we'll have fun making our little um, cotton candy with this as a little project. But guys, this box was $50. $50! I mean, I get it. It came with the chips, it came with the drink, and it came with all these candies and stuff like that. But me, personally, I will not be purchasing again. Like I said, I'm not really a candy person. I do like chips, like, you know, those weird chips from other places, but the ones that they included in this particular box were not my cup of tea at all. So we'll give the Japan Crate a 5 out of 10 because of that. 
but you know, give it a try. Your taste buds might be different than mine and you might like everything. So last but not least, this did not come inside of the crate, but this is from Hot Topic where I bought the crate. So we're gonna open one up. Let's do this flavor. That, that's the thing, it doesn't even tell you which flavor is which. So it could either be orange, what is that? Hummy melon or strawberry. So let's open it and see which one we got. Oh, it feels so good. It's squishy. This one is strawberry flavor. Mm. Probably if you put these in the freezer, it'll taste like the mochi ice cream, which that's really good. But they have good flavor. My daughter will love them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my Hot Topic haul slash Japan crate tasting. I know I did. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much again. Make sure you stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Tell me in the comments what, what you thought and what kind of videos you want to see going forward. And please, we appreciate it so much if you subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell button so you do not miss out on anything else. Thank you guys so much again. See you next time. Bye.